Can blue light glasses fix your sleep, or are they just more pseudoscientific wellness garbage? The debate is complicated, as top healthcare influencers disagree and change their mind under the influence of high-paying sponsorships. Let's compare the opinions of the two most well-known influencers on sleep habits, Andrew Huberman and Matthew Walker. We're actually friends, with Walker going on Huberman's podcast multiple times. You want a lot of bright light from sunlight, ideally, in the morning and throughout the day. In the evening, you really want to cut off those short wavelengths of light. These lenses cut off that short wavelength of light arriving at your eyes, allow you to transition to a calm and sleepy state to wind down. You'll likely notice much easier transition to sleep and you're keeping your cortisol low in the evening at nighttime, which is when you want cortisol low. I think the thing that I've probably changed my mind on most or had a reversal on is the effects of blue light on our sleep. And there's been some great work from a university in Australia called Flinders University. Michael Gradazar has done some just great work on this. He has changed my mind. I'm less bullish now about the idea that these devices that we use are sleep disruptive because of the blue light. What I think he's shown in some elegant work is that it's less about the light, it's more about the fact that these devices are just so activating, that these devices are designed to trigger alertness and what we call physiological arousal in the brain. 